Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's November 18th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for being here. Thanks, Mike. Um, as we talked at the end of last week in our report, uh, inflation numbers are starting to look more benign. Last week, we saw the consumer price index come in below expectations. This week, it was the producer price index that came in below expectations. The bond market has reacted strongly. What did you see? Yeah, so this week, the broader muni market saw rates tightened by nearly 50 basis points week over week. Uh, the municipal market outperformed relative to treasuries across the yield curve. Um, and prior to today, the, the market had reflected tighter yields in eight straight trading sessions. So that was a, a positive momentum for the market. Uh, with, all, with that, we also saw modest mutual fund inflows, uh, which is the second time over the past three weeks, which is not something we've seen a lot in 2022. Um, and for trading activity, the bid wanted uh, volume this week was reverting closer to the mean, but the buying activity from customers was up significantly across the curve and up significantly versus the past uh, five five week average. That's uh, interesting. And again, that plays on some of the information we heard from the bond dealers of America a few weeks ago, where they said that uh, retail activity was really starting to look stronger at these levels. You know, in absolute terms, rates remain higher than they've been in a couple of years. But I think there's more confidence in investors that they're uh, they may have found their peak, and so uh, it makes sense they'll start to come into the market. Another thing that was interesting last week, we were at the Bond Buyer Infrastructure Conference down in Washington D.C., and for the first time in several months, uh, I heard several investment bankers saying they were getting on the road to pitch uh, refunding ideas to uh, their clients. So with uh, that kind of a move in interest rates, refundings come back into play. Uh, too soon to see that activity in the primary market, but it was still a busy week this past week ahead of next week's uh, very light holiday week calendar. What did you see? Yeah, this week, BAM was pretty active in the primary market. We had $340 million of par insured. Uh, the activity this week was very diverse. We insured 30 series across 11 states, and a lot of that activity came in the competitive market where we were very active. Uh, this week saw a lot of Texas MUDs come to market, and we were very active bidding and insuring those transactions. Some deals to note this week, we had a $77 million deal for Yonkers, New York, that came across two series, and that was a negotiated sale with Raymond James. There was an Arkansas Tech University transaction for 30, roughly $30 million, and that was um, also a negotiated sale with Stevens. And then the Chichester School District in Pennsylvania issued a negotiated transaction with RBC Capital Markets. Thanks, Chris. Uh, we're going to take a pause next week. Happy Thanksgiving to all of our viewers. But before I go, uh, real quick congratulations to you as well. Last week after the Bombayer Infrastructure Conference was the first uh, induction of the Bombayer Hall of Fame members, as well as their annual class of rising stars. You were a member of the class of rising stars. Uh, we appreciate all your work at BAM and congratulations on that. Uh, and also congratulations to BAM director John White from PFM. He was in the inaugural Hall of Fame class alongside Suzanne Shank, Ben Watkins, Dave Anderson, and Roger Davis from Warwick. So a really uh, great group of, uh, of municipal professionals at that dinner last week, and uh, we were glad to be a part of it. Have a great uh, holiday, Chris. We'll see everybody in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Mike. You too.